Welcome to the 34th floor at 111 West 57th Street. My name is Kelly Bean. I'm an interior designer in Manhattan, and I'm excited to show you around my latest project. Choosing which projects to do is almost an emotional decision, and so when I saw it, I knew in three seconds that I was gonna have to do it because it is one of those spectacular, iconic New York residences, and I just felt honored to be able to make a little bit of a mark. Some apartments, if they're lucky, have a wow moment. This apartment has two wow moments. You get off the elevator, and you look right, and it's Central Park in its most glorious. But the fun thing about if you go left, towards the bedrooms, towards the kitchen, is that the buildings start to kind of unfold, and you get a sense of really where you are. What I love about this building is this sort of marriage of old and new, so the layouts of the residences are quite modern, although the scale of the rooms, the proportion of the rooms is quite also classical. The way they lay out, I think, really works for modern living. I feel like the design, when you have views like this, is meant to sort of support and harmonize with the views. There's something quite unique about the centrality, this, this perfect central axis to the park that makes the apartment almost feel like that's your backyard. The inspiration for a room will start with one piece. And in the living room, which I suppose you could say is the sort of crown jewel of the residence, it started with this rug. It's this beautiful, it, it felt sort of uh, like a meadow to me. It's always about that harmony between inside and outside. And for me, that's why the rug works so particularly well, that you're stepping into this extension of the park and that you could almost reach out and touch it. There's a lot of very exquisite attention to detail here. The primary bathrooms in the building and in this residence are clad in the most gorgeous, elegant, white-veined onyx, beautiful freestanding sculptural metal tub and bronze fixtures. They're just absolutely full-on glamour. In the kitchen, there are the most beautiful cabinets. They are hand lacquered, but they have a slight convex, and they almost feel like piano keys lined up next to each other. There is something so special about being in that kitchen at night because Manhattan just lights up. It's twinkly and it's vibrating and it feels like you're dining in the middle of Gotham City. I'm particularly excited about the beautiful artworks we were able to procure for the residents. We have pieces by Alexander Calder, Christopher Astley, Ted Lawson, Chris O'Feely, and for me as a designer, they help to tell the story that I want to tell. In terms of who I could see living here, it's someone who loves New York. It's someone who, who feels that they want to be seeped in the essence of the city because there is not a moment in this apartment, no matter what room you're in, where you're not completely aware that you are in the heart of Manhattan. And I think that is so magical.